Hello everyone, welcome to a second tutorial to beginners guide on how to revit. In this video, I'll try my best to show you how to make a window family from scratch as well as placing them and modifying them. For now, let's open the ground floor, then window tell this one. Okay, so to show the window family, all you gotta do is here in architecture and the window button here. Also, like most options, if you hover your mouse, you will see a tooltip or a help here in the section. So, okay, let's click this one. The window should be here. And like usual, there's already a preloaded window for us to use. We've got fixed, casement double, and double hang. For now, let's use a fixed one with this is the width and this here's the height on the right side. So let's use a 406 by 6 10 millimeter. Focusing on the ground floor first. I believe that if I click here, it won't show properly since the wall and the finish aren't joined properly. It's showing in the 3D view. Let's try here and here. See how it does not reflect in the 3D view? It's actually there, but it's being covered by the exterior paint. So to fix that, go to modify, join, click our brick wall and the exterior wall. Again, for the interior, Take note that we have a windows, sorry, a wall siding here. So let's hide this. So let's do it again. Join the core wall, then the exterior again into the interior. All right, so that should be good. But since we don't need that, let's go ahead and delete that one. Let's focus on here. Now, as you see, we've properly placed it. Let's do the same on the other side by creating similar. Okay. Next, let's try to modify them. So let's click one. Should show this part here. And look at the here. In the edit type, we have a steel height. So steel height, like the doors here from the previous video, steel height is the object distance it has from the reference level. So if I were to make it 1,500, it would increase in height. Making it into zero would let it touch or reach the ground, like so. Okay, so let's bring it back to 915 as it was originally. All right, next up, let's modify them. So click this again, and let's focus here so we can see it properly. Again, click to edit type. Right. How here in the materials and finishes, we have the choice of changing the material. Of course, glass is the material you see in the middle, and here's the sash is its frame. So let's try to do a sample. Let's change this to earth, like we did with the door. Let's minimize this so we can see more of the window itself. If I were to apply this, you will see that it changed in the material. Let's try to change the glass. Let's use earth as well so it's easy to see. There we go. Alright, so let's cancel it and do that twice. Next, I'll try to explain some of the dimensions within the window itself. Back to edit type. Here in dimension, of course, height is its... Uh, Vertical length increases to 1000. Okay, next is the width, its horizontal length, making this 1000. Hmm. Doesn't work since it's hitting the door, so let's make it here like this. There, now let's try to change it once more. Let's make it 800 only this time. There. All right, next up is the window inset. You see this border frame it has in the middle? That's almost like maybe 10 mm or less from the front window. That's the window inset. So if I were to increase the number a little bit higher, it would go inside. Or maybe it would go way beyond the window body itself. Let's give it a sample. If I make this 50, 
see how it moves. If I were to make this 200, it will go back to the interior. Not long enough. Let's try 300, 500. There, see? If I were to go inside, it would protrude like so. If I were to press, press space bar and change the orientation, see? So that's the in window inset. So let's go ahead and undo everything we've done. Okay, back to the beginning. Next, what if I want to use another window? Let's try to use the other types. Let's go back to window here by pressing WN. Let's use double hung. Mm, let's try this one. Focusing on the plan view again. All right, so let's put this here in the back place. That looks good. I want to use like an exhaust or a ventilation in the toilet. Let's use the same one here, create similar. Let's place it somewhere there. Then let's modify it. Let's use something wide and thin in height. How we do that? Go back here, edit type, like usual. Let's duplicate. Let's make the height 300, the width 1200. So let's make the inset at the equal pace. Let's make it 150. Apply. Okay. There it is. Let's change its steel height to 3000. Perfect. Look at that. It's seeing the window tile, right? How to fix that? Again, let's just join this wall and the tile work and the wall tiling. There we go. What else? Let's add a design here. Let's make this a little bit longer. Let's use the longest one, which is this. Let's do the same here. Let's play around a bit with the windows. Sorry, with the steel height. Let's make it 200. Okay, let's do the same here. Back to plan. Let's make the distance from the door jam or rather the two door frame. Let's use the jam instead. 100 should be good. Okay. Alright, now that looks a bit better. But my OCD is hitting me, so I want it to hit this part right here instead. So that it would look equal there. What else? Let's add two windows here. Let's use the same window as this one. Create similar. Join the core and the exterior wall again. Now, let's make a proper distance to it. Since it's not working, better if we just move it. Let's make it 320. Do the same here. Move it 40 to this side. There. Still height is good. No need for this one. Now, what if I want to use different types of window apart from what's already available for us here? Again, like the doors, we can easily do that by going to insert. Then to Autodesk family. Here we have the windows, but in case it doesn't show this one, let's go back to all results. Either use the search bar or look at here in the browser. And of course, it's in the W area here. 
Now let's look for a fancy window. This right here. This should be good enough. So let's load this one. Now that's loaded, let's look for a place to load that on. Should be good here and here. What? Let's use this first. I want to create something like this and hmm, wrong. Create similar. Let's delete this one. Doesn't look good. Let's do that later. For now, let's focus on the window that we just loaded, which is this one. Let's place it here. We don't need this anymore. As I see, it seems that it's not showing the inside of our house. And we've already joined this wall to both the interior and the exterior part. In that case, let's edit our wall. Go to edit profile. Click the wall first, edit profile. Let's make a sketch here since it's not working. Let's do a work way around it like this. Now, next is the interior pink. Let's go back here and do the same. Edit profile. Let's keep on picking the interior border of the window itself so it will be easy for us. There. Now it looks better. Now let's do the one here at the back side. Click this one, create similar. Let's do a definite distance for it. Alright, that should be good enough. Should have the same problem with the paint. Now, let's do the same edit profile and sketch let's do the same on the other side looking better let's add some more windows someplace else this side here looks plain but for now let's leave it as is because maybe let's try to put a curtain panel or curtain wall here in the next video but more on that next time for now everything seems good apart from the material this window has so Let's use the same material that we have for the door and the other windows. Let's click this. I believe it's using sash. Yes. So let's click this one. Sorry, I meant copy paste this. Press OK. Go back here. Edit type. Here, let's change this to sash. Apply. Okay, looking good. Let's check the other side. This one here as well. Let's change this to sash. There. No need to change this door. Let's leave it as is. Okay. So I guess that's it for this video. In the next tutorial, 
I'll be teaching you how to make the window family from scratch. So, thank you very much guys. And for if you have any questions and suggestions, please do comment below. If you enjoyed or find this tutorial helpful, you can support me by liking and subscribing. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much guys. Thank you.